This, so this was the first show that I have ever written the music for in its entirety. I've, I've worked on other people's shows, played other people's music and stuff, but um, Hal and I met and we had a real sort of musical connection on the stuff that we like. But it was a really amazing story to sort of uncover and also to come to Suffolk and see how well told this story is. Like it's, everyone knows it, they've all got their opinions. I mean, I came to theatre quite late. I was always in bands and stuff, so I come from like a live gigging background. And then working with people uh, on theatre shows around the UK, I picked up, like, I learned so much in the early part of my theatre career. I think the way that this story is being told, on the kind of flip side, I think it was always told before, but from the point of view of William Corder, but now we're hearing it from the point of view of the women that were involved. Um, it's really empowering for women now to hear these stories. And they're timeless themes, you know. They don't go away, unfortunately. The nature of the script is that we have these joyous moments for, for the women in it, so we enhance the joy. We have these moments that are really like eerie and edgy and thriller-esque, so we try and help that along as well. Un unusually, for this kind of thing, I didn't go, right, I think this show needs to sound like this. I just went and what came out came out. And fortunately, as, as it developed and as it moved, the songs that were written early on, the, everything that came out of them seemed apt. It's a bit, it's soulful, definitely. It's earthy, definitely. Um, spiritual too, I think. That we're coming back to the third time of this show going out, and I'm super proud. When I hear all the music again, it's like, wow. It's got, it's got a bit of everything. You'll laugh, you'll cry. The hairs on the back of your neck will stand up, for sure. Um, and the cast are super, super talented. Um, they're an absolute force and they deserve to be seen.